Today, let's talk about the rental agreement or lease agreement, which are synonymous terms. A rental agreement includes the terms and conditions that will govern an occupancy, including the length of time, the amount of rent, and when the rent is due. Also, the amount of the security deposit. Rental agreements may be oral or written. However, it is strongly recommended that parties have a written rental agreement. Oral agreements are unenforceable if they are over a year and can make things very complicated if there's ever a dispute. So please have all your rental agreements in writing. There are two main types of rental agreements, a fixed term and a periodic term. A fixed term agreement is for a set amount of time that has a defined expiration date, such as a one or two year lease. Advantages and disadvantages of a fixed term lease are tenants and owners are obligated to each other for the entire term of the lease. The rent amount is fixed until the expiration date, unless there are scheduled increases within the agreement. They must be detailed and agreed upon. Property owners cannot terminate the agreement unless the tenant breaches the terms of the agreement. A tenant is liable for rent to the end of the term if they vacate the unit and the unit is rented to a new tenant. Once the fixed term expires, the tenant may move out or the owner can request the tenant to vacate the property with proper notice. If no notice is given, the fixed term rolls into a periodic term agreement until the new lease is signed. A periodic rental agreement is for successive time periods, such as week to week or month to month. This agreement does not have an expiration date. The rental agreement will be effective for the length of time the tenant continues to pay rent or neither the landlord or tenant provide proper notice of termination. The advantages and disadvantages of a periodic lease. Either party can terminate the agreement with proper notice. Rent can be increased up to twice a year with proper notice. There's no expiration date and the agreement continues to roll over. Many property management companies and landlords use pre-printed forms for their rental agreements. There are no standard rental agreements that are required. Most agreements have terms that are only enforceable if the box is checked or the blanks are filled out. Therefore, you must use extreme caution when reading through and understanding the entire document before signing. Take special note of any check boxes or blanks that are not filled out. It's never a good idea to leave any relevant blanks not completed. If it does not apply, then you should put the NA. When writing in a rental agreement, make sure that it contains all the promises between the property owner or agent and the tenant. It should not contain anything that contradicts any agreements that were made verbally. If the rental agreement refers to a separate document, such as tenant rules and regulations, make sure that there's a copy and the tenant has read and signed that also. Double check all rental agreements, but they are easy to understand and every term has been laid out specifically. If a rental agreement is hard to understand, then it may have difficulties standing up in a court of law. Key terms that should be contained in a rental agreement. Names of the landlord or agent and the tenant. The address of the rental unit. The amount of the rent. When to pay the rent and to whom. It should be paid to and where it should be paid, the amount and purpose of any security deposits, the amount of any late charges or return check fees, pet policies if pets are allowed, number of people allowed in a unit, attorney fee collections in the event of a lawsuit or eviction, and who's responsible for utilities, who's responsible for yard care and watering, any repairs promised at the beginning of the lease. Maintenance and repairs reporting processes, including emergency numbers. Whether a tenant can sublet or not. Conditions the landlord can enter the unit.
name, address, telephone number of authorized managers to receive legal notices. If permitted to make rent payments in person, including days, hours, and an address to drop it off. The form in which rent payments can be made. If rental insurance is required and the amount of coverage. Any required disclosures, including bed bugs and flood hazards. The lease agreement should also contain an addendum, including any rules and regulations that have been put in the agreement. Some examples of rules and regulations that should be included would be if a tenant must park in a certain area, if storage is available, if there are any quiet hours, or if smoking is prohibited. This is just an example. There may be other terms in the rules and regulations also. If a tenant breaks any of these rules, it could be grounds for eviction. It is important that both the owner of the rental unit and the tenant have signed copies of the rental agreement. These documents should be kept in a safe place and never discarded until after the statute of limitations from the time that the tenant has moved out of the unit. Tenants are entitled to receive a copy of the lease from the property owner every calendar year upon request. I would recommend that a lease agreement be renewed annually. It should never go out more than two years before renewing a lease. In my many years in real estate, I have seen where property owners have not renewed leases for over 10 years. At this point, the rent is normally way below market. The property has become substandard, and neither owner nor tenant can find a copy of the lease. This can lead to trouble if something were to happen. Always be prepared. Thank you for watching. Your Home Imagined is here for your property management needs. We serve the Temecula, Lake Elsinore, and Menifee areas. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment below if you would like any topics covered in the future. May your cash flow always be positive. Thank you.